Shalom to my brothers and sisters in the body of Yahushua HaMashiach. And today's word is, Who is Esau? Who is Edom? There has been so many videos made about this topic. Some of them are true and some of them are false. My people, we're going to let the word speak. Because we really need to understand about the prophecies between Jacob and Esau. When you understand that, then you will understand the end time prophecies. This lesson is about truth. And, then, and if you are a child of the Most High, Yahuwah, then you will stand for truth. No matter how much it hurts. It's about being on Yahuwah's side and standing for the truth. Only the children of Satan would stand for a lie and not give the whole truth about the word and the history between Esau and Jacob. So the opening verse of this lesson will be this. We go into 2 Exodus chapter 8. 2nd, oh, I'm sorry, 2nd Esdras, chapter 6, verse 8 through 9. And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So as you can see, this verse is very important because we are in the last days. We have seen floods, earthquakes, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. All of the signs of the end of this world and the end of this age that have been prophesied by Yahushua HaMashiach in Matthew chapter 24 is coming to pass. So it's very important that you understand this verse. For Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginner of it that followed it. So now we are, we are in Esau kingdom. Esau is the ruling nation of this kingdom. But many miss this mystery about Esau. They only focus on Esau. They forget who is the chief of this kingdom. Who is the ruler of this kingdom. And that is Satan. If you also understand what happened between Cain and Abel. Then you will also understand what is happening between Esau and Jacob. I encourage you, my people, to read the book of Adam and Eve and read Genesis chapter 24. Because the same thing that happened between Cain and Abel of their relationship is the same thing that's happening between Esau and Jacob. For Esau has a great hatred towards his brother. Okay. Again, this is about nations. It's not about the individual. Because as an individual of that nation, you still have a choice. And we'll talk about that later on in this video. So let us first begin with the scriptures you need to write down for this lesson. We will be talking about the nation trait versus the individual, which is mankind. And I'm going to get you the scripture for Daniel that talks about this hidden mystery that many miss. I'm not going to mention it now. The other verses you need to write down are 2nd Esdras, 2nd Esdras, chapter 6, verse 8 through 9. You need to read also Genesis chapter 4. In the book of Adam and Eve. Genesis chapter 25 verse 24 to 29. Genesis chapter 36 verse 1 through 36. And we'll not read this in this lesson. But you need to write this down. Genesis chapter 21 verse 3 through 4. Chapter 26 verse 34 through 35. Chapter 28 verse 69. Genesis chapter 25, verse 19 to 34. 
chapter 27, verse 36 to 46, and Psalms, chapter 83. If you have a copy of the work of Josephus, you need to read chapter, book 5, chapter 2, section 1, from 47 to 50, in the works of Josephus. You also need to read um, Leviticus, chapter 13 to 14, Matthew chapter 5, verse 36, Exodus chapter 3, verse 6 to 7, Numbers chapter 12, verse 10 to 12, Deuteronomy chapter 24, verse 8 to 9, 2 Kings chapter 5, and special look at verse 27, 2 Kings chapter 15.